Hey guys, it's Alyssa. Welcome to my very first DCP vlog. I'm so excited to bring you guys along on this journey with me because I feel like it's just going to be such an awesome experience. But before we get into that, we have to finish packing. Now it is August 12th today and I move in tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I do live about 25 minutes away from the park, but I am going to be living at Carnegie Plaza. So I'm not too worried about leaving things at home um, just because I can drive home to get things if I need them. And also I'd rather my roommates have a lot more room. But I thought I'd kind of just show you guys what I have so far and what's kind of ready to go, essentially. Also, sorry for the terrible lighting in this room. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you the contents of my suitcase just so you guys can kind of get a feel for what to bring and, like, what I'm bringing type of thing if you guys decide to do the program. If you hear little dog nails tapping, it's this little angel. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and see what's in this suitcase. So... Up top, I have packed my pretty big collection of Disney shirts. But hey, I mean, you're going to be living at Disney, so you got to gotta bring Disney with you. Um, and underneath, I have a good amount of normal shirts. I'm actually probably thinking of taking a huge chunk of them out, just because I have so many Disney shirts that I probably don't need very many normal shirts. Um, so, below everything I have, like, some sweats, yoga pants, um, tank tops are over here, I have pajamas in the middle, I have some shoes in this bag, and then jeans and a bunch of shorts all right here. It is still pretty warm in California, so I thought... Um, it'd be fine to just bring a bunch of my summer stuff and then once I need a lot of my cooler weather clothes I can just come back home and grab them um, so yeah my suitcase is basically ready to go and I also have my bathroom stuff for the most part prepared um, packed in a box so in here, I just have a reusable bag, um, face stuff, a little lamp, or like night table lamp. Don't know if I'll use it, but I have that. Um, some knickknacks, a bunch of Tsum Tsums in here, and a snow globe. Um, some makeup. Over here, I have just a bunch of like face stuff body like body soap just bathroom necessities um shampoo that i gotta throw in but yeah that's basically ready to go and then i also have a backpack packed um with a little bit of like i guess school supplies for when we do start our classes but that's actually not until a couple of weeks so I'm going to set you guys down here really quick Well, I open this. But I'm just taking my Kongen backpack because it holds a lot and it's pretty light and I feel like I can use it while I'm at the parks too. So in here I just have a book that I'm currently reading. Um, I have a planner for 2017-18. thought it was kind of cute and I thought it'd be good to just write down like when I'm working and any assignments and all that good stuff. Um, I also have a little coffee table book that I thought would be kind of cute to just keep in our room. And I have a journal. I have a Polaroid camera in here that I'm going to take and it's on so I probably should charge that just just remind me I should get the charger of that guy 
Um, I also have a little golden book, um, Tangled book that I also want to use as like a coffee table book or like nightstand book because Tangled is my favorite movie. And I have this awesome notebook that my sister got me for Christmas. And funny story is I actually didn't know what to use it for because I didn't want to just use it for normal school because I was like, that's kind of lame. But when in Disney and when doing Disney school, you got to do a Star Wars notebook. So I have that. And in there I actually have all my like DCP phone interview notes that I took before doing my phone interview so that's kind of fun um, and I also just have my little congratulations like acceptance letter which I absolutely love and I want to put in like a like a frame or something cute we'll see like a memory box so I have that, and then, then lastly in here I have this ginormous, I have this ginormous Star Wars encyclopedia that we're also going to use as a coffee table book, and it just has like a ton of really cool like stuff from the movies and just like bunch of awesome stuff so I feel like if we have visitors or something um, in our apartment it'd be cool for them to just look through if they wanted to and stuff because it's a fun little read but yes yeah, so that was essentially what was in my backpack um let's see what else can I show you guys I do have my bedding and stuff all washed already and like towels and everything um, I'm only taking two bath towels because we do have a washer and dryer in our apartment, which is really awesome. Um, and if anything, I can always just buy more towels if I need them or something. But the part I'm most excited for is my bedding. So I brought it out here where you guys can like fully see it in, in good lighting. So I am basically showing up to the apartments as a five-year-old boy but you know what I love it and I have no shame because Star Wars is awesome so this is the pillowcase it just says Star Wars on it and basically just has the same print that's all over the bedding or like the sheets and stuff um, and these are the sheets so it just kind of has like a bunch of the characters on it so it has R2 and Chewie and an at at which is super cool it has the falcon of course um and it has the scene right before luke gets sucked out of the window when he finds out that vader is his father um who else does it have on here it has c3po it has some troopers it has i think i said r2d2 Mm, and Vader there he is and also Vader so thought those were super fun um, and you know when you're living at Disney you just gotta go full out you gotta have fun with it so that's the bedding and what else am I bringing oh yes I'm also currently working on roommate gifts still so me and my roommates decided to do gifts for each other as like a little welcome type of thing and then I just have some pots and pans that I'm taking that I have to get down so they're up there in this closet I've heard that they do provide you with I believe like four plates or five plates depending on how many roommates you have um, and silverware and stuff but I'm not sure if they provide like a bunch of cooking equipment and stuff so I'm just gonna take pots and pans for us because I had them um, but I mean yeah other than that I feel like I'm pretty much set to move in um, it's just a matter of kind of organizing everything and making sure I have everything I could possibly need the first few weeks but like I said I'm probably gonna like return home a few times to get some stuff that I couldn't bring or that I forgot to bring 
other than that i think that's pretty much everything i'm taking with me tomorrow morning so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one